Ah, uh, yes. Welcome back to the Morning Shift, your source for your hip hop R&B in the morning here on CHGO 891, your first little urban station for the Ottawa Gatineau area. I'm the big mouth on the mic, Daddy Rich. We just heard Shoop from Salt and Pepper. We got my man Keith Whittier in the house from Ottawa Life Magazine. He's a movie reviewer, entertainment reviewer, and he does amazing barbecuing. Like, I'm, I swear, his barbecuing is amazing. World famous, getting close to world famous, I should say. Keith, how you doing? today my brother i'm doing fantastic fantastic thank you i i'm going to tell you something 60 percent of the reason why i love coming on your show is the introduction <laughs> and thank you for repping my phenomenal barbecue well, skills i a very genius i am i thank happen you. i happen to see your instagram post there when one of your friends messaged you and say hey i'm doing these uh ribs how could i cook them you're like whoa that's on, I can I do. This. I can. I got this. I can tell you. I got this. So, I got this. Absolutely. <laughs> so, how's the month of July been treating you? And what's new for our listeners out there to uh, watch? Yeah. So the month of July is treating me pretty well. Listen, we're in the second phase. Um, we've got uh, phase three coming up. I'm excited about that. Not just because it's phase three, but movie theaters open up with phase three. So that's that's a lot of fun. But before that happens, we still have uh, the option of watching films digitally. So that's great. And uh, and again, of course, for our friends over on the Gatineau side, Star Cité Theater is open. But given the choice, I would probably, you know, go with the digital option. But in terms of the big movies, of course, this weekend we are talking. It's all about Black Widow. We've got another Marvel film coming to us. I am so excited about this. Of course, Black Widow played by Scarlett Johansson. And here's the funny thing. Before we jumped on air, you're like, oh, you saw it already. You say to me, you're like, oh, don't ruin anything. Here's the fun part. First of all, you should know better. I'm not going to ruin anything. Awesome. But we all, but we also know anytime we're talking about Marvel, those words spoiler free have to come up into the review because we're all nervous. There's a lot of trepidation. We don't want to know anything. We want to go in organically and be surprised. So let me say this. There are certain boxes that Marvel movies need to check off, just like any movie, really. Is it entertaining? Yes. Does it further the Marvel story? Yes. Does it does it develop new characters? Yes. Is there a post-credit scene? Absolutely. Should I wait to the theater or see this on Disney, Disney Plus? Here's the thing. If theaters are open, like near you, and you want to go to the theater, absolutely. But as most of us are still in a, in a position where we can't go to see theaters here in Ottawa, get it on Disney Plus. It's worth the $34.99 or whatever it is. It yeah. is definitely worth it. A couple of weeks ago, I would have told you that Cruella was the best movie that Disney Plus put out in this in these COVID times. Now I have to second guess that because with Black Widow, you've got a strong female character that is basically putting Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel on notice. No. I think Scarlett Johansson, yeah, I think Scarlett Johansson was great in this. I think Florence Pugh, who plays her sister, is phenomenal. And if you don't know Florence Pugh, you need to check out, uh, a lot of people will say Little Women. I'll tell you to check out Midsommar, a solid thriller horror movie. She was amazing in that. This is a bright, bright uh, young talent in Hollywood, and you're going to be hearing her name for a while. I believe she's already been nominated for an, an Academy Award. But again, solid cast in this film, including David Harbour and Rachel Weisz. It's fantastic. It's unfortunate that it got pushed back because of COVID, but it's here now. Definitely check it out. It's fantastic. And let me tell you, Disney is just so phenomenal at moving the the, the, the pieces on the proverbial chessboard. They know what they're doing. Things are so well, well planned out. This is a fantastic film. You're doing yourself a disservice if you don't see it. Yeah. Black Widow. Adored it. Great so, movie. Quick question. How was the now this is not a spoiler, but how was the yeah. how was the family I um her family more or less, you know, like her father, her mom, and the sister. How was the dynamic for that part of the storyline? Well, I would say they're probably like a lot of families, somewhat dysfunctional, but that's what made it fun, right? I mean, there's always a fun comedic element, you know, undertone with a lot of these Marvel films, and you're yeah. definitely seeing it. You're definitely seeing it with 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 Black Widow. I mean, each of these characters is very entertaining, and they all have kind of like an interesting thing going on going on with them, and it just it just works. None of this feels forced. None of this feels like. I never feel like they're like I'm like I'm you know like the, there's some sort of milking of money of, with all these projects. Yeah, I just look at it as great storytelling, and 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 just when you think one door closes, other do other doors open up. So it's it's a lot of fun. And I will say this, um, for those who have been watching a lot of the different shows that have come on uh, Disney Plus, like WandaVision, like Loki, like Falcon and the Winter Soldier. 
you're going to appreciate this movie all the more. Really? Ah. Now, the the class last one I have to ask you about, do people have to sit through the 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 all the trailers for any scenes? You know, the oh, you closing, mean the post credit scenes? Post credit scenes, scenes. yeah. How many post credits? Yes. You can always spoil that. You can always yes. spoil that. How I'm, not, I'm going to say, listen, it is a Marvel movie. Marvel yeah. has has gotten to the point where they they, <laughs> they take advantage of every inch of that of that, uh, that filming tape. They're going to go right until the end. So, yes, post credit scene, stay till the end. All you right. won't be disappointed. There you go. 100%. All right. What else you can recommend for the people to uh, enjoy for the July month right now? Okay, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about uh, another movie that I that I recently had the uh, the opportunity of seeing, and that's a movie called The Ice Road. Now, this is a new film with Liam Neeson. You remember him, don't you? Yes, so I remember Liam Neeson, him. Of course, <laughs> listen, him and his he's he's got his special set of skills, which of course we know from Taken, and then he kind of had like a huge PR nightmare not too like not a, long a ago. few years ago. Yeah. And he's in a movie which I'm very, you know, I I, I want to bring to the people because this is a movie that was made in Winnipeg. Really? And basically, the yeah, the the plot of the movie is is that a group of miners are trapped, yeah. and Liam Neeson leads a team of people who have to travel along this long ice road, which you know it's 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 bridged off. You're not supposed to be going on it because it's a road of ice and it can crack and break and you can go under. And they've got to take these big trucks across this ice road to 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 save them. All the while there may or may not be some forces that don't want them to get there. Listen, this is a fun Liam Neeson movie. This is one of those movies I dialed in yeah. on uh I dialed in on a, on a on a Saturday night. I said, okay, what's available? What can I check out? This movie was there. I, I, I watched it. I enjoyed it. Is it the best Liam Neeson movie? No. But was it enjoyable? Absolutely. Am I glad that I checked it out? Absolutely. It was a lot of fun. I recommend it. I mean, if people like Liam Neeson films and if they like like a good kind of action movie, it's definitely worth uh, it's definitely worth seeing. I thought it was a I thought it was a lot of fun. Again, I wouldn't put it as one of his best, but compared to some of the ones that I've seen recently, I think this one's I think this one's a little better. It's it's and uh, it's funny because I, I, Liam Neeson kind of reminds me of, of Clint Eastwood. He's getting older and older, but he still has the these action leading roles of him taking out you know guys with you know one punch, two punch, and then a gunshot somewhere it's like it's just kind of cool that he he is still doing his thing you know what i'm saying good comparison because he definitely has that get off my lawn mentality <laughs> yeah. that you would get from a clint eastwood so yeah 100 yeah, yeah. yeah, percent. Right. absolutely what's what's one of the things that you what's one of the hidden gems that you can say that people should see for july that people don't know about Absolutely. So there's a lot of fun things coming out in the month of July. M Night Shyamalan has a new movie. We've got um, we've got that movie Snake Eyes that's coming out. But I want to bring people's attention to a nice independent movie. This is a film that made its round through the festivals earlier this year, and it's getting its release now. And it's called How It Ends. It stars a uh, Zoe Lister Jones, who I first saw on the TV show Whitney, and she's gone on to do uh, a lot of other things. Um, this is a movie that uh, her and her husband wrote and uh, uh, directed, and basically it, it, it's an end of the world movie. So this is a film that was shot during COVID times, and this is one of those movies where I speak to um, the fact that you don't need a big budget, you don't need this blockbuster production to have an entertaining story. And this is why I think a lot of really great independent movies are thriving during these times right now. Uh, so this is basically about this woman who's basically walking along the streets of California as she's trying to get things in order because there's a meteor that's coming to the earth that's going to end the earth. And all along the way, she's bumping into old friends and, and, and what have you that she's that, you know, that, that, that have been in her life. But here's the fun thing. All of these different people that she's running into are all different celebrity cameos. So it's really fun. It's, it's, a, it's a very smart film. And uh, I love the way that she's basically said, hey, I'm going to make a movie with like a bunch of my friends and we're going to come up with like creative ways to bring them into the story. This is a movie I, I really like because, again, it really speaks to creativity and in a world where we're constantly seeing like remakes and reboots and sequels, and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't, here you're seeing something that's really original and something that's like, hey, we're sitting around the house, we're locked up in COVID, let's come up with a fun movie. And the result is how it ends. So I can't tell you what platform it's going to be on because I don't know. I know it's coming out July 20th, so um, we'll follow up with you on that in terms of exactly how people can see it. 
But uh, I'm excited for people to check it out. I'm not, again, selling this as the greatest movie or anything like that. But for a fun, original type of film that's different from what we see week in and week out, How It Ends is uh, is definitely going to be on my uh, must-see for the month of July. You got me. It, it kind of reminded me of, uh, of This is the uh, this is the End with... Uh with um oh geez I'm, 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 the name oh are, the with the yeah, guys we're, we're looking at uh, yeah 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 i know like um uh, uh, just, now that now you now, now you, you got it now, <laughs> now you did it to me um i see that there's the brothers uh, uh jason from montreal he's in it too uh jason siegel is yeah, in it uh, um, jay, uh, uh, oh, jay is jay brussel yeah um yeah. Well, the list goes on. It's, yeah, this is guy. this is the end. It's it's really funny movie. Uh, 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 Craig Robinson is Jonah in it. Hill. Jonah, Jonah Hill, Jonah Craig Hill Robinson. There we go. We got it. It was so it's Hermione. kind of yeah, Hermione. <laughs> can me. It's kind of remind Hermione. me how you, how you're telling me this kind of remind me uh, about that. So it's kind of cool because they they brought yeah. all their friends celebrity together. It was the end of the yeah. world kind of thing. And I really want to see this movie now after telling me their celebrities could be like popping up as uh, in yeah, the cameos. Absolutely. So it's gonna be really good. Uh, now is there anything else you want to end off with uh, for the uh, listeners out there yeah absolutely there is a movie that's out right now on on uh, prime video called uh, the tomorrow war with chris Ooh. pratt so this is a movie that i recently had the opportunity of seeing i gotta tell you something this hasn't happened often during these COVID times, but every now and then a movie comes along and I'm like, I wish I'd seen it on the big screen. Yeah. The Tomorrow War is on that list. It's probably close to the top of that list. This is such a fun action ride. So basically it's kind of like, we've got some tenant in there. We've got some interstellar in there. We've got some time jumping going on. We've got basically uh, Chris Pratt uh, leads this team that has to basically jump to the future to fight something that you know is going to be threatening the entire population of of the world and it is a fun action ride it is action on top of action there's a lot of great foreshadowing in the movie there's some fun comedic elements in the movie there's some strong acting in the movie i really enjoyed this uh i know we're coming up to the end of the segment but the tomorrow war is on amazon prime check it out blast the stereo wake up the neighbors this is a fun fun movie this is this is what movies to me is really all about going in and take, taking a couple hours off of your life and being distracted being being distracted by 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 what's on the big screen and the tomorrow war really delivers for me yeah there's some plot points in there that don't really make a lot of sense but that's why you turn your brain off so <laughs> i really enjoyed it I, I i i'm really excited about this movie i'm excited to talk to people about this film I think it just solidifies the fact that Chris Pratt is a great leading actor. Oh, he's awesome! And uh, and yeah, it was a, it was a lot of fun. All right, well, thank you for sitting down with uh, with uh, with the Morning Shift crew again, and to the listeners out there, uh, where can they uh, reach out and get more information of any other movies that you can uh, recommend them through the month of July? Yeah, absolutely. Ottawa Life Magazine uh, is always a great place. Uh, Twitter. Uh, CFL underscore fan as well as Instagram is also CFL underscore fan and uh, yeah if there's things that you uh, different movies you guys want to talk about feel free to always drop me a line appreciate it and you're going to be back again with uh, some more movies for us to talk about so I, I can't wait to sit down with you uh, and uh, once again what song do you want to end off a Friday morning with and now it was funny because we were talking off air and it was just hilarious the whole idea that we said like, I've been playing a lot of male songs let's get some women yeah. into that vibe now so what song do you want to end off with today yeah absolutely we're talking a friday we're talking going into the weekend we're talking getting people you know if you're at your desks you know wherever you are getting people dancing and getting people bopping i want to go with woo woo party time by mc light yeah yeah all right let's get into that here on the morning shift keith once again thank you very much for sitting down with us here let's get into whoop whoop uh with mc light let's go